Okay, four friends each choose a number. Olivia chooses 60. Mark chooses negative 20. And Tasha chooses 30. Lamont says his number is greater than Mark's number, but it's less than Tasha's number. Ooh, my plan. Well, it's given me a number line, right? So my plan is, I'm just gonna plug this in, right? So I've got Olivia chooses 60. Mark chooses negative 20. Tasha chooses 30. Oh, the number's already there for me. That's Mark. Okay. Now I need to find, graph a point. A graph and point can be math words. Where Lamont's number could be. I'm not sure if I'm online or not, so I might have to come back and finish this video. We're going to try it though. I may just have to show a picture of it. Okay. I might be back online. I'm not sure. Um, I lost my internet for a while. So if the video just kind of stopped, um, it's showing that it's going. So if it stopped, there might be a gap there. Okay. And I apologize. Here we go. Now my plan is I need to remember that Lamont's number, I need to find a number that is greater that is greater than negative 20 because that's Mark's number, but less than Tasha's number and hers is 30, right? That's the number that I'm looking for. So I'm going to get my blue pin here. I'm looking for a number that's between here. Okay. Because my zeros right here, those are my less thans, these are my positives, right? The more I go this way, it's less, right? So I'm not looking for a number less than marks, right? But I also cannot have anything greater than 30, right? So my number can be between these two places. Well, I graphed it and I also marked it where it could be. Write an inequality that compares the number you chose. Well, I'm gonna choose zero. Okay, now, oh, then it says write an inequality that compares the number you chose as Lamont's number in part A to Olivia's number. Oh, to Olivia's number. Okay. Let's see here. Olivia's number 60, and I chose zero. 
So zero is less than 60. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one. 60 is greater than zero. Now, your extra credit is to tell me the distance between Mark's score and Tasha's score, okay? Basically what that's saying is, or I guess number, it's not a score, but you know, if I was to play a game, that could be my score, right? Now I would wanna know how many points do I have to make up for, right? So this scenario could work. So your extra credit, once again, is Tell me the distance between Mark and Tasha and show your work.